Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to go into depth on how you can reconfigure and customize your screen using no source code. So in Acumatica 2025 R1, we're starting to see this modern user interface unveil itself. Now by default, if you upgrade to 2025 R1, you won't see the modern user interface. You need to have it enabled. And it's technically not ready for release, but it's a good idea to start to understand what it's gonna be like and how easy it can be to reconfigure your screens. So here we're looking at a sales order. And with this sales order, we wanna make a few changes. So the first thing we do is in the upper right hand corner, you can see this gears. So Acumatic has reconfigured all of this and you'll see some of your menu items have been placed under this gears. Essentially, Acumatic has taken the tools and the customizer and blended it together into one menu. But what you see here also is this screen configuration. And when we select it, it brings up our ability to start to configure this screen, reconfigure this screen. So at the top of the screen, you have the ability to complete your configuration changes. You can go in and update your user-defined fields. And you also have the ability to load personal configurations. You can import and export. We'll get into that in a little bit. But in each section of the screen, you can see this gears button. So let's say the first thing I want to do is I want to shorten this top section. Now, of course, I can shrink this top section by clicking this button here. And as you're familiar with, it'll shrink it down so you have more space below, essentially getting more line items for your, in this case, sales order. But if we expand it again and we take a look at, for example, this main panel here. So this is our our panel all the way over to the left. Let's call it column one. We click on it. Acumatica gives us a list of possible fields that we may want to add there. And it also gives us possible fields that we may want to remove or change. So at the top of the screen, you can see order type, order number, status, and so on. All the fields that are visible here. And we could do a few things here. The first thing we can do is we can hide a field, so make it not visible. So let's say I don't want customer order number and external reference number. I'll click apply, and now they've disappeared. Now if I'm trying to make more space, I can go into my description area maybe, and I can hide that. And maybe I don't need my discount fields. I can see those under the totals anyway in this particular screen. So we'll go to the line and the document discounts and we'll make those not visible as well. So now what we've done is we've shortened this section. So if we click apply to all, anytime you apply, Acumatica asks you, well, do you want to overwrite this for everybody in the system? I have admin rights. I could do that. Or do I want to allow anybody who has personally configured their screen do I want to preserve that and not override their settings? In this case, I'll say override. And so now that we've left the screen configuration mode, what you see here is this top header, and it's missing some of the fields because I've decided to make them not visible. And I can still shrink it down, shrink down the header using this button here. So let's take it a step further. We'll go back into screen configuration, and let's look at our column two. And you'll notice there's a couple of other options here as well. So for example, project. Now, of course, project is only turned on if you have project accounting enabled. And also keep in mind with any of these fields, if you go into security, which can be cumbersome to reconfigure security for this purpose, you can go into security and say, you know what? I don't want most users to be able to see a certain field. And that could also act as a configurator. But this is a lot easier, of course. But you notice this little push pin. 
So if I were to uncheck this push pin here, click apply, and I were to go to column three, and under tax total, I were to click this push pin as well. And additionally, maybe on the order quantity, I'll click apply. And maybe we go over to currency and we'll click the push pin on location. And lastly, for column one, we'll go to the date and turn that off as well, maybe with the status. We'll click apply. We'll apply to all. And now you don't see anything different, but if I collapse this, now you're getting just the fields that you have pinned. So this allows you to configure this expand and collapse header feature in Acumatica by reconfiguring the fields that are pinned or not pinned. So let's continue on. If we go into our gears button here, which is to the right of all the tabs, we can decide which tabs we want to show. So maybe I don't use blanket orders. And in which case, I have no reason to keep that tab on. I also don't take a lot of phone orders or am integrated with an e-commerce site where I need to check out risks so I can remove that tab as well. And so I can clean this up by hiding certain tabs, as I've done here. Additionally, if I go to any of these tabs, you'll notice I have the button here to configure those sections as well. Now, lastly, if I click on Apply All, and I go back into my screen configuration, I like to hit Apply All so it saves it, and I click on this button here, I have the ability to export the configuration, which it's done. Now, if I decide I want to go back and maybe reset everything to default, and I apply all, you can see everything's been returned back to default settings. If I go back to screen configuration and I click on this clipboard, I have the ability to import if I click on my screen configuration file, the file I saved, and click apply, you can see that all of my settings from that file have been restored. So this gives you the ability to save a number of different file configurations, and then you could selectively send them to other people to load those configurations based on the kind of work that they do. So that screen configuration, you'll find it in any screen where the modern UI is turned on. If you need any assistance turning on the modern UI, if you're a SaaS customer, you'll need Acumatica's assistance. Check with your partner. If you need any additional information on it, we also have a number of videos. You could reach out to us. But we showed you how to reconfigure a screen, drop some fields, pin certain fields, and even hide some tabs, and then store your configuration. So thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing. If you found it useful, please click the like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.